Hi, I'm Pat Martin, and I play Joe, the owner of the garage in the town where the kids show up. Well, um, it's a slasher movie involving a um, bunch of kids who come out in this old town and get stranded, and of course, bad things happen, and we meet Shane and uh, all these other characters who you don't really know who's really the bad person or not till the end, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Joe's a sort of a crusty old guy. Uh, uh, he acts pretty rough, but I think he's a nice guy to, at heart, you know. No, I didn't do anything special to prepare. It's pretty much all me up there. <laughs> very cool, very relaxed. Everybody was having a good time. Uh, I was a little older than most of the kids that were there working, so that was pretty interesting, uh, uh, but everybody, everybody was nice. We had a great time, we joked around a lot. Good, good, everybody was professional, but uh, like I said, we had a great time, and, and you know, when it was time to be serious, everybody was serious. When it was time to uh, kind of fool around, they, they, they liked the old gas station, which has a bunch of old stuff. They were looking at the old soda machines and taking pictures and having a good time. All the parts that I was in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to want to repeat this, but uh, the uh, the bathroom where uh, the girl goes in and, and the crazy guy's beating on the door was not actually a bathroom. We had just sort of put a toilet in there and made it look like a bathroom, but it was definitely not a working bathroom. And you got to understand, this gas station's almost a hundred years old, and uh, one of the girls had to, had to go, but I wasn't there, and she actually used the bathroom. And um, the next day when we went in there, it smelled like an old nasty bathroom because somebody had used. <laughs> I first met Jason when he was doing the original version of Beware and it showed at a film festival that I work on and actually I played sort of the same role. Uh, it's funny, I was working, I owned the gas station and I was working there and these two, we, I was involved in film festivals and independent movies and these two guys show up at night, we're putting the engine in a car and uh, they said, hey, can we use this place as a set for a movie? And we, my brother was helping. We started laughing because, you know, <laughs> here's another movie. So I said, sure. And then we worked on that. They were at the film festival. We got to know each other. And so I guess when they uh, were doing the, uh, the new version, they wanted me in it. So there I was. Although this time I got to speak in the movie, which I thought was cool. <laughs> I have a couple of favorite scenes. I don't know if my wife would like me to tell you which ones they were. Yes, I, I, I like suspenseful horror movies. Um, you know, seriously, I think some horror movies nowadays are, are just getting to be all about, all about the gore that's almost like torture porn or something like that, and I'm not into this, but I think uh, Beware, there's a lot of suspense and, and a lot of drama, which I like, you know. the, the the gore involved with that is 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 necessary and it's part of the genre but uh, if you're just shooting it to so show people hacking each other up then it's a snuff film and I'm not interested I think for slasher horror I'm going to have to go back to the original psycho there were a lot of firsts and you know psycho that's the first time they ever showed a toilet flushing in the movies since we're talking about toilets. I think they can expect a good story, uh, not just a bunch of hacking and slashing, although they'll get that too. Uh, and I think as any good horror story, it's got an open end to it, so you don't know if we're coming back for more. Let's hope so, because Joe's ready. No, it was a great time. One of the best movies I've ever worked on. Pat Martin, and remember, I don't habla espanol. Beware.